Several people showed up in front of Asbury High School Friday afternoon with signs and Mexican flags. Now, showing support for a student who said he didn't get his diploma at the graduation ceremony because of a Mexican flag he draped over his gown. I showed everybody, I was like, yo, I got my flag, I'm about to represent. And they didn't tell me nothing. I got into the auditorium, sat down, put it on my lap, they didn't say nothing to me. 18-year-old Ever Lopez said what should have been a joyful day for him and his family turned sour when this happened at the Asbury High School graduation ceremony Thursday night. Lopez was stopped and talked to while on stage. Well, I got to the stage, Ms. Kirk is like, you can't wear that. There's a long pause and a conversation with the principal. Then Lopez continued his walk across the stage and back to his seat, but without his diploma. One woman witnessed what happened. I didn't notice anything of a distraction um, other than he was wearing his flag. He was showing pride, showing pride for his parents. I got to make my family proud, you know, because, like, they worked really hard for me to get here and stuff just for this to happen, you know? Like, it really brought me down because... I didn't expect it from, you know, a school that I came for a long time. Officials at Asbury City Schools said students received a dress code guide ahead of graduation and wearing a flag is a violation. They said students are only allowed to decorate their caps. Now the district says it will review its policy for future graduations. Next year, like, I really hope a lot of people bring their flags and, like, represent what they really want, you know? Like, don't let anybody try to bring you down. He worked hard for it. He's been studying uh, for 13 years to earn that diploma, and it was his right. And district officials say they support students' expressions of their heritage at the appropriate place and time. They also say they'll work with Lopez and his family to get his diploma. In Asperger, Adoria Chumba, WFMY News 2.